this presentation, we will examine the components of workforce planning. We'll discuss how a firm's internal demand for labor relative to its internal supply dictates whether managers experience labor shortages or surpluses among their workforces. We will explore how external factors and internal pressures affect the supply and demand of labor. Workforce planning is the process of making sure that individuals with the right skills are where they need to be at the right time to meet a firm's current and future needs. In many ways, workforce planning is an ongoing balancing act. Companies must balance the demand for labor with the available supply. A firm's labor demand refers to the number and types of employees the company needs to meet its current and future strategic objectives. The labor supply refers to the availability of current or potential employees to perform company's jobs. In other words, managers need to look at both the labor supply and labor demand within their organization. They also need to anticipate and plan for factors outside their organization's control. Understanding the supply and demand for labor is only half the equation, though. Managers must also take action to address labor shortages and surpluses. A labor shortage exists when the demand for labor exceeds the available supply. Demand is greater than supply. In contrast, a labor surplus is when the supply of labor is greater than the demand. Over time, outsourcing and offshoring are examples of tactics a manager can use to cope with a shortage. Tactics such as layoffs and early retirement programs can be used with a surplus. Knowing which tactic to use requires that you have some insight into your company's actual labor supply and demand. The number of employees in different parts of an organization is always changing due to a variety of factors. Employee turnover is one factor. The productivity of the firm's employees, the company performance, and changes in the firm's strategic direction also affect the demand for different jobs in all parts of a company. Managers have to evaluate factors in the external environment over which they have little control. These factors include the local labor market, economic conditions, and industry trends that impact the supply and demand of labor for that organization. When faced with a labor shortage, most people initially think about recruiting new employees. Although that's a viable option, other tactics can be used to address shortages. Some of the typical methods are using overtime, contingent labor, increasing retention rates, strategically using employee promotions, transfers and demotions, as well as hiring new employees. One of the quickest ways to handle a labor shortage is for the use of overtime. Employing surplus labor is likely to be financially prohibitive for many companies, particularly when the surplus are anticipated as permanent or long-lasting. Layoffs, attrition, hiring freezes, early retirement programs, and movement of employees, either temporarily or permanently, to other work areas are some of the common tactics used to manage surpluses. Your responsibility for carrying out workforce planning activities will vary depending on the size and stage of development of your company. Larger companies are likely to have greater resources, support staff, and perhaps more formal HR department practices to devote to these activities. Companies such as this are also likely to be in a better position to invest in technology that helps them track labor force and supply and demand issues. In smaller organizations, workforce planning activities often fall directly on managers responsible for supervising employees at that level. As a manager in a firm, you have to keep track of the movement of people throughout your unit, the availability of replacement employees to fill open positions, and the availability of other contingent labor if it's needed.